Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome. So today we're gonna be starting I, the Somnium Files, the Nirvana Initiative. So this game is sequel to I, the Somnium Files. So we played that first game, right? I had a lot of fun with it. The characters were really good. It was exciting and the ending was really, really, yeah, it was really, really good, right? I loved it. So for this game, the setting for this game, I mean, is set six years after the events of the first game, after the events of the new Cyclops killer, right? And for this game, they have it a little bit different, I suppose. So we're going to be playing as two characters this time. And uh, yeah, it's not going to be Date anymore. So we're going to be playing as Mizuki, the little girl from the first game, right? Date's adoptive daughter and another new character called Ryuki. So this is going to be very, very interesting. I can't wait to see how they do this with two characters, right? Because last time it was only one character, but now it's going to be two. So yeah, we will have to see. So let's go. Let's just do it. Let's just start it. Okay, so what do we have here? Difficulty. Standard. What is this? Um, Time limit. Uh, recommended difficulty for QTEs in the story. I'll, I guess I'll just play it standard right now. Yeah, standard only. I want to play story, honestly, but... <laughs> no, let's just play standard. Okay. 210, A Strange Tale. Converge Chapter Zero. What is this? A game show? Oh, it's the boss. Where am I? Yeah, so this kid is Ryuki. You okay, Ryuki? All right, let's keep going. Next question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe scents and are known for their musical ability? Wait, how do I know this, though? I don't know this. What? Uh, tutorial. I guess we'll, we'll check it out. People inspecting people and objects will progress the story. Okay, cursor camera. So basically like last time. The boss. Uh, where am I? Wait, how do we remove this? In though? Indian mythology, what is the name of the half god, half beast spirits that imbibe scents and are known for their musical ability? If you know the answer, spit it out. I actually don't know though. How do we remove the log? Oh my god. <laughs> Not a log, but this one. Uh, where am I? What? You're joking, right? What are you talking about? What am I doing here? Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? Push it and you get to answer the question. Okay. I should have closed the tutorial. I don't even know the answer. the answer button for the quiz. Tama. Oh, we got a new it? We got actually a new one. Tama is her name. Tama. You mean this button? Yeah. You'd better hurry or the other teams are going to answer before you. There we go! Team Popo was the quickest. And your answer is... Team Popo. Place your cursor in the host. Centaur? No, Centaur and Sater is no. Date? I mean, I guess it's obvious now that the answer is Gandharva. Gandharva. That is correct! The answer is Gandharva. Team Popo Arba. gets 10 points for the correct answer. Good job, Ryuki. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. Thank you, boss. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Yes. Uh, what? No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. This question is for that person on the other side. Who was that? Um, what? Why ask about that? Hurry now, your answer, please. Wait, do I tell to him? Can I hear the question the again? The question is whether or not you're familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings. 
Easy, right? I mean, yeah, I guess. This is the Faith to Face Special, a six-hour quiz show live stream marathon. Have you forgotten? Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. Ah, but before you do, I want you to take this question very seriously. The new Cyclops serial killings, the incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out and murdered. Are you or are you not familiar with it? I mean, I am. I know that. It's difficult to if we can dig into the details of that incident in the coming six days. Also, it's going to be six days again like last time. In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. Oh. But okay, then, yeah. Even if you don't know anything about it, it won't affect how you progress through this game. The Sarlacc serial killers and what you're about to experience, they have nothing to do with each other. Promise. So please, just tell me honestly. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killing? So basically this question is directed at me. Yeah, at us. Yes, I am. Are you sure? Don't be lying now. Let's give you a simple test just to make sure. The one who resolved the new Cyclops serial killings was Kaname Date of Abyss. On the final day of that investigation, someone was shot in the leg by the culprit. Who was that someone? No need to give me their last name. First name only, please. Oh, I actually need to type? Okay. But yeah, I know it's Mizuki. She got shot. And she was like, it hurts. <laughs> right? At the, uh, I guess, last episode. Second to the last oh, episode of my bad. Let's Play. You're correct. But you could have just gotten lucky. How about we go for one more round? Who is the true culprit of the new Cyclops serial killings? Answer with just the first name again, please. Let's have it. So, yeah, the culprit is Saito. Saito Sejima. He's dead. Wonderful. That's another right answer. Sorry for doubting you. You really do know about the new Cyclops killings. Okay, what is happening? Did you hear that sound? That means the next question will be the last. Are you ready? A precognitive dream is a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams, are they really, truly real? Jesus. Oh. It can't be. Oh my God, they're dying. And this is just a dream, right? Mizuki, she's big now. Yeah, look at her eyes. Like, honestly, she removed her eyes, her normal eye, right? So she can use, I guess, Aiba. Be careful, Mizuki. I've detected a biological response. Three o'clock, distance of 315 feet. 
in the middle row of seats. Oh my god. Okay, how do we do this? I buy a special mode. Right now you can use zoom plus night vision function. Select zoom and the icon. Uh, how do we do that? Okay, here. NV, there. Iba, zoom in. Night vision mode. Roger that. Okay, I cannot click on the guy. Use the x ray next. Understood. Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I so bet that's female. it. Why else would another girl target me? You can't think of any other reason? Well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? That's why other girls don't like me much. I'm fairly certain that has more to do with your personality. Okay, uh, click Izuki, it. Load Evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Got it. That is way too far, though. Look at that blue bullet. <laughs> so big. Wow, she has her own gun as well. Or, I mean, different type okay, of gun. Okay, it's ready. I will display the aiming reticle. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it. What's We're gonna with hit this girl. The uh, the 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 face. I mean. She go now. She escaped. Detecting the target's footsteps. They seem to be heading toward the stadium exit. Ugh, can't let them get away. Mizuki, wait. Even you won't be able to catch up to them. More importantly. More importantly, what? Hmm. There's something there. Yes. Hey, that's... You recognize him? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Well, I'll never thing. forget. It's... <laughs> it was then. The left half of his body. His name is Jin Furue. Jin Furue. I remember it clearly. Six years ago, at Studio Devaita. The... Right half of his body. Wait, six years ago? Is that even possible? I mean, there's no blood though. Yeah, could have put put it in a freezer, and then the killer would just show Ryuki, it up. What's wrong? Pull what do you yourself together. Not show it up, but show it to the people after six years. Oh, Moma. Boss, where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> Mr. Yuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. Wait, didn't Momo's voice actor straight, change? Straight and corny him off my heels every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryuki. Are you sure you're alright? Oh, um, yeah. Alright, now that Mr. Ryuki is away, let's get back to it, shall we? Oh, Here we go, next question. 
Which Taoist symbol, shaped like interlocking black and white commas, represents the origin of all things? What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights! Yeah, I'm on it! I mean, you heard it though. Yeah. Ray to free. Why are they in a TV show though? Or the game show, I mean. Like everyone. MoMA. Mizuki. The boss. Police officer? Uh, did you find anything? Oh, no. I just started investigating, really. Okay. It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However, there aren't any footprints. Yeah, so how did someone put it there? Indeed. Then how did the body... Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky, or rose up from the ground, or they teleported here. Ooh. Teleported? I was joking. Do not take it seriously. Okay, let's talk to the boss. Honestly, this game, or yeah, this one, it feels very smooth. So, will you let me investigate this case? Of course not. What? Why not? What? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sakiba High. But I barely even go now. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a singer. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. About that day. Why? What is it? Well, I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I mean, didn't that they change his body? Why are we showing the Saito body here? I would have let you know right away if he did. Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. Oh, he's missing. Okay, so this is how they removed Date? He was, he's missing for six years? And has been missing ever since. Oh my god. Date's body was never recovered from the scene. Don't worry. I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. No, 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 but seriously though, uh, why did they use that uh, Saito face though? Saito body, when they changed it to, I guess, uh, the other body, right? And, uh, what's the name again? Number 89's body? Oh, I, maybe I, I guess because for this game, you can play this, right? Without playing the first game. So maybe that's why they use his body there. Maybe, but yeah, it's kind of weird still. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace. Spending Atami. his time in leisure. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. Why are you here? You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. At Studio Devita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation HB? of the whole department hangs on this case. What is HB half body? By HB case, okay. she is referring to the half body serial killings. So named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Their identity is unknown, 
Terror. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it. Um, what is this? Regarding Terror, Terror has two meanings. How do you fast forward a little bit? Uh, yeah, oh I my god. Say that. Please, boss. Wait, tear as in tears when you cry, the other tear means to rip something. The culprit of the HB case is more a reference to the latter by adding an ER at the end. We get terror. Honestly, like you're showing a lot of this stuff in the screen, right? When you click left, right, up, down, you don't know what <laughs> what is going to be... Uh, what do, you, what do you call this? Like this one, expand, right? I want to remove that. Oh, I have to. This case like, is... Like you don't know what input is going where. Stop that. Do not give me the puppy dog eyes. You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Fine. But promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 10-4, boss man. I read you loud and clear. 10-4. Boss, she's my direct superior now. Uh, police, inspector. Ask his name. Oh my god, is this gonna be him again? I have a bad feeling about this, but you really want to know my name? Yeah. Then I'll tell you, but please don't forget it, okay? Got it. My name is Kagami. Hmm. Kagami, huh? Okay, I'll remember that. Konami. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. I knew this would happen. Kamani. <sighs> I'll say it one more time. My name is Kagami. I told you it's Kagami! Kamagi? I know his name already. I don't think I need to ask again. I think I know his name. He's gonna get angry. His name is... What is it again? Hey, what's your name again? Give me a break. Okay. Uh, how's the investigation going, Mr. Kamari? I finished gathering DNA samples. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. So do you recognize this body? Of course, ma'am. It's Jin Furaway. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. IT company CEO, okay. He was famous until he passed away. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation too. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Um... Sorry, don't remember. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. Ooh, that kind of hurts. In a good way? By the way, what's with the ma'am? Abyss is a high-level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. And yeah, she's still a trainee, by the way. Huh. Really? But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you? Do you want to get your ass kicked? Sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Casual with you. Okay, this guy, detective. And you are... All right, let's introduce ourselves first. I don't even have to ask about you. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this guy's face? He's look like he's dead. Yamazuki Okira. 18 years old. A high schooler attending Sakiba High. The all-girls school, right? Okay, this guy's kind of suspicious, though. So let's... Let's, uh... Remember his name? Ah, but Okira is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I remember correctly. You were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was found. So I take it you were there too? Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent at Abyss. That boss lady got her claws in you, huh? This little girl gets hired as an investigator. Huh. Guess they'll take anyone they can get. 
times sure have changed. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as extra legal measures. Extra legal? You know anything? I should be asking you. You're the one who discovered the body, right? You were also at the studio six years ago when the other half was found. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? What are you trying to say? Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said, HB Stadium. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half-body serial killings. I need to know more about that case. Changed my life. Forever. So that's why I came. Okay, what is this? A new stuff. Regarding Mizuki's smartphone, if it gets a reception, I can... Connect to any network. I can make calls and send and receive messages on Nile. Mizuki says I don't want you to know about my private life. If I leave my eyes closed, you won't be able to see it, right, Aima? Which is why she still carries her smartphone around. Okay. Who sent the message? I don't know. It was sent from an account that signed up with a fake name. Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. Someone? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I... don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Who could this person of interest be? And why did she try to kill you? Yeah, maybe she's just a hater, right? <laughs> Any leads? I haven't found anything yet. Though there is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. The footprints? Bingo. There isn't a single footprint on the field that doesn't belong to someone here. So just how did the culprit do it? There isn't a trace of any disturbance in the field, so how did a body get here? Your... What? You really don't know? No. I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. Detective Ushidera. Field. But damn, this just may be a bait, right? Like, oh, he looks suspicious. We're gonna, uh, what do you call this? Be wary of him, but in reality, he's just gonna be a good guy. Right, maybe. Empty seats. Uh, aren't you cold, sir? Nah, the lighting has heating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. How about the body? Weird, though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago. But the body shows up now? I mean, remember Manaka from the first game, right? Uh, Iris's biological mom. She was in the freezer for 18... Was it 18 years, if I'm correct? Right? So, yeah, maybe it's possible, though. You put... You cut off the body, put the other half in the freezer for six years, right? X-ray. Corpse face first, That's... like corpse face. Definitely Jin Furoe. Yeah, the same face we saw six years ago at Studio Devita. Jin was a young industrialist. He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Hmm. I will get the more shocking facts out of the way first. The estimated time of death is approximately nine hours ago. Man, but this is nine hours ago though. What? Nine hours ago? Yeah, why? It is currently nine o'clock. So that would mean he was killed around 12. Wait, 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 hold on. Six years ago, I... Hold that thought, there's more. Okay, there's more. As you can see, the body was cut in two. There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. But how is that possible though? Nine hours ago is the death. Estimated time of death, I mean. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. What do you mean? Judging by the cross section, it is clear that it was not a blade. 
It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. Then what was it? As I said, I do not know. The body was cut at the molecular level. Are we actually gonna go supernatural in this game? Did the first game had supernatural? Uh, not, 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 not really, right? Dante just remembered like the different routes, but other than that, like you can explain it uh, normally. Not normally, but you don't need any, no supernatural stuff happened, I mean. Would you like to check the corpse with x-ray mode? Yeah, it's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. Hmm. In that case, how's this? Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. I'm gonna see it again. I want to see it again. Ooh, look at the ribs, though. They're actually there removing There is hardly it. any blood left in the body. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section facing the ground. However, there are no traces of any blood flow on the ground. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location. Six years ago, Jin Furaway's body was discovered in Studio Devita. And now, his left half was found here at the stadium. And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today, which means that half his body was alive very recently. <sighs> what the hell is going on? My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. Hey, Iba. Iba? Hold on, did Iba just appear? Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. Okay, Iba. So, what if Jin has a twin brother? It could be possible though, right? Maybe, that's why. I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. What if the body was frozen? But, and yeah, the estimate time of death was 12 o'clock. There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. That half-body was definitely alive until just recently. What if the right and left belong to different people? I, of course, did consider it a possibility. But both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. Okay, so it was only the face is the same. I mean, can you... You can uh, do plastic surgery, right? So unless we see the DNA results and it said, Oh, it's basically the same person. We're not sure yet. What if he was still alive with just the left half? What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together. No, there are no traces of that. And were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? I have no idea what's going on. This case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half-body case isn't over yet. Six years ago, I was 12. I obviously wasn't in the biz then. I wasn't part of the investigation at all. I didn't know much about the case. I did see some of the investigation documents during my training. But the information there wasn't much better than the information on the internet. So I couldn't get the full picture. Hey, Iba, how much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. Okay. And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. So six years ago, there was a Ryuki was already there. I don't know anything other than what he reported. Yeah, how old is Ryuki, by the way? What about the stuff he didn't report? I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? I 
Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. Currently, Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho. Okay, I guess we'll go there. Oh, Golden Yokocho to Mama. So this was six years ago. This cop is still here. Introduce myself. Ha. Huh. I already know all about you. No need to say it. Kurto Ryuki, 23 years old. Also, Ryuki's saying in six years, he's 29. Due to your excellent marks, you skipped a few grades at an elite private university and graduated at 21. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Boss. Uh, of course I didn't. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Yeah, Boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. What are you talking about? Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love each other very much... You don't have to explain it! I get it! Um, let's check about... let's check this corpse, I mean. The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furaway, 29 years old. The CEO of Music Food Co. LTD. He's also an executive at several IT firms, consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. By the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see it from here, so here's the image I took earlier. What's this? It's an enlarged picture of Jin's temporal region, near the back of his head. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. In other words, there's bruising. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Yeah, look at the back of the head. Someone hit him from behind? Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? Okay. Hmm. He's missing one of his back teeth. Hmm. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. Hmm. Sign. Frey to free? Fray can mean battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self-explanatory. To set free or release. So the phrase could mean something like fight to set free. Hmm. Can I not uh scan it? Let's scan it. What's with that QR code? The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. Can you actually scan this IRL? I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. The estimated later. time of death was about 40 hours ago. Today is February 10th, current time 2200, which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. 
there's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result. I mean, he, he was or he is cut in half, so yeah, the blood is gonna go out. 100%. Leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. Hmm, Thomas Trivia. So this is going to be a little hard to understand, so feel free to skip this if you'd like. Among scientific bonds, there is the inter intramolecular bond which uses electrons to bond and in the intermolecular bond which is bonding of molecules themselves. Intramolecular bonds are stronger than the in intramolecular bonds. What the hell, man? So when something is cut in half, it is usually the intermolecular bond that is severed. However, Jin Furoi's body was severed at an intramolecular bond level. That's it for the science part. Please continue to enjoy the main story. Thank you. Okay, let's talk to our friends here. Her name. I know her name without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. You read the reports. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Mr. Date. Oh, by the way, this case and the new Cyclops serial killings are not related, though that is just a hunch. Probably. I mean, most likely it's not connected, though. Are you okay? Does she look okay to you? I was just asking. Already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. Do you know the victim? Teleportation. What? What? That body teleported here from a parallel world. Wait, is she what? But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was split in half. <sighs> Jeez. Okay. She's trembling. Mizuki Date, 12 years old. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. That's why I've met her a few times before. Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. What are you doing? What? Isn't it obvious? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave anyway? That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask. So... So where is Mr. Date? I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magua right now. Pouring some ponzo on that Reika chick's fat thighs. Okay, I remember Reika now. So Reika is the girl Date loves in... Or loves at a cabaret club, but they haven't shown who Reika is. Maybe they'll show it in this one. Maybe. Do you know the victim? Of course. Jin Furoe, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. Okay, the boss. Who's in charge of this case? Hmm. Well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. Why are we here? Hey, what's going on with you? Memory problems? Brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Show. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, Sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home. But the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. 
Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? Moma... His name... His name is Moma Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Ujisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being... peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live-streamed quiz show? Yeah, honestly, it does not make sense. Why is Moma here? <laughs> Do you know the victim? Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even people in my world wouldn't kill someone so gruesomely. I guess it's the same voice actor for Momo. I thought earlier they changed it, but yeah, it is him though. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Yeah, you, when he says Tessa, yeah, it is him. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Who was the man sitting next to you? Oh, you mean Chinpei. Chinpei? Chinpei Wagai. That's his name. He was one of our members until just recently. Was? Yeah, he went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Okay. <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing yet. HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half-body being found. Hell. Maybe it's never going to be found. What if that body crossed over time and space to get here? It's possible, right? No? You're... <laughs> we work in the same building and you don't know my name. Can't blame you though. You're new. Metro PD Major Crimes. Name's Ushidera. Oh, it's this guy again. It's Konami again. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I had a bad experience. I try not to tell people my name. Then I'll tell you instead. His name is Kagami. Kagami, huh? Huh? How did you know? Oh, he's, he's gonna be happy now because I guess in this one, Ryuki is the only one who's gonna remember his name. Why? Why does this keep happening? Is my name cursed or something? <laughs> oh, all I can do is laugh now. I told you it's Kagami. Kagami. Um, I'm sorry. What was your name? Okay, Ryuki for forgets his name as well. Oh, come on. I'm sure you actually remember. Mimiga. Was it? Mimiga. Ah, oh, my mistake. It's Mimigawa, isn't it? It's neither. No need to shout, Kagami. Oh, I knew it. Do you know the victim, sir? Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about him. I actually follow him on Twitter. He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. Twitter? He's insightful, inspiring in a way. How's the investigation in the body going? Well... What? You still haven't taken DNA samples? Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid! What do you mean? I mean, you're right next to the body! So? So? Well, you... you could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. I'm fine. I've seen worse. Yeah, she's seen her mom die. Her dad die, and then on the other route, Ota dead, Iris dead, right, in the first game. Anyway, you're in the way. <laughs> Fine. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. Oh, 
How are you, sir? It's all right now, because I am here! Half Might! Okay, they're actually referencing My Hero Academia. Half for all! We are full-time heroes! You okay, Mr. Ryuki? I feel like you aren't exactly sound of mind right now. But yeah, in, uh, in the first game as well, they were doing this. They were referencing games, right? Ryuki can sometimes, oftentimes, get weird like this. He isn't doing well mentally. One of my jobs is to support him. Okay, so Ryuki is kind of messed up. Hmm. Okay. Any new intel? Please, don't rush me. I'm doing the best I can. Looks like he's just standing there to me. Yeah. How about the body, sir? Is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe, but... Okay. Komeji didn't. I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was... Andy's Komeji, I think. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. He's a comedian. I'd never heard of him before. He must not be very good. Suppose you can do better, asshole. Whoa. What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy. And here you are just Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Hmm. I guess for uh Aiba, right? She likes bugs a lot. For whenever she sees pictures of bugs or just seeing bugs in general, she's like super happy. And I guess for Tama, she likes comedians, right? Any any kind of comedian, like very, very good or very bad, she likes them. So that's why she's defending Kumeji. Maybe. Okay, how about that quiz show, sir? Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right there. Faith to Face, our special six-hour livestream marathon brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the cameras should have been running when that body appeared. I'm sure all of Japan or even the world tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. Okay, can we read this? Service for PC and smartphone. The quiz show Faith to Face is one of the shows. It's a mildly popular show with everyday people as contestants. Okay, I guess that's why they're here. Remove it. Close. Um, where am I? Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? This is Studio Devaita in Minato Roppongi. It's a rental studio mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Ryuki, I've got a connection. The QR code link. It leads to a ViewCube page. ViewCube? You mean... Yes, the video streaming site. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. Okay, that was kind of like American Horror Story, kind of weird. Remember when American Horror Stories, or American Horror Story was good back then? Uh, they had this intros that were pretty creepy. Yeah, that was kinda, it kind of felt like that, yeah. The vibe, I mean. What, what's wrong, Ryuki? Oh, dude, what is happening? He's breaking.
Okay, I, I did not understand that. Wait, is that actual language though, or what? The hell was that? Hey, um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. He was like, I'm fine, but his face is so, like he's super stressed. Okay, it exploded. Wait, so no one uh, didn't even check if there was a bomb inside a corpse? Team Zero Escape presents. What is this? Is that Tama? New characters, look. Uchikoshi. But yeah, this is going to be very, very fun. I'm having fun already. Even if we just started. Yeah. Really looks good, though. Kind of weird, honestly. The, the, the vibe is weird, is what I'm saying. Like, the first game was... It was scary at the beginning. Like, oh, Shoko Nadami dead in a, uh, a carnival, an abandoned carnival, right? But this one just it feels weird is what i'm saying no not, not really scary yet but yeah it was weird <laughs> oh it's brahmin you are familiar with it yeah i've been here a bunch of times ryuki is supposed to be here i'm certain of it okay let's go in Dude, look at the glass though, so big. It's not a glass, it's a picture. Persons six years ago. So this is a person six years ago. Mizuki, Ryuki, Parkour and Gun Fu. A highly educated rich boy hired right out of school. Okay, he lost his parents in a plane crash when he was young. He had been living with his younger brother until he too passed away when he was still in high school. I mean, that is very tragic. Maybe that's why he's kind of messed up in the head, right? He likes justice, duty, loyalty, and date. <laughs> Collecting a convertibilna marca. What is that? Sama, female, according to settings. So she is age zero because yeah, this is uh, no no this is eight no 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 okay, okay. Investigation assistant likes comedy. See, she likes comedy. Anything perverted, S and M and what is that? A A ten diff. What does that mean? I don't know. D dislikes dense people, dishonest people, bad liars. She likes comedy. See, watching comedy videos, tanning, horse racing. Her skills is bondage, wax, plain spanky. But yeah, I read somewhere that for Uchi Uchikoshi, I mean, I guess the writer, the creator, I guess, uh, when he does his stuff, it's always, there's a lot of like perviness to the characters, I suppose, like in his other games as well, right? So let's see. Let's see this one for Tom, I mean, Yoniharu and, uh, He's a former quiz king turned comedian. Okay. Jin Furway. All of it is unknown. Like, look, even the photo is uh cut in half. The boss. Kuranishi. Skills finding weaknesses and exploiting them to ensure total obedience. Iris uh, runs really fast. Momo Kumakura. Oh, Momo, I mean. Shinpei Wagai. 
M Mikoto Ushidera. Araya Kagami. Skills playing dead. Okay, persons in the present now. Mizuki? She's 18 now. But yeah. Did it say 10 here? Uh, 12, 12, 12. Okay, it says, it says. So, beating up bad guys, motorcycle riding. Even though she's a high schooler, she was hired as an abyss agent by boss. Dislikes raw fish, mag collectors. Raising Cleone, collecting Adorabbit merch. So she likes it now. Aiba, age 12. Yeah, look, she likes in insects, spiders, crustaceans. A0F5. Hmm. Okay. I am not a robot. Passing I am not a robot test on websites. She's 49 now. She looks the same. So not, not that much. Appendix forward. Abyss intern. Ujisaki. View cube. Yeah, this this is the weird video that we just watched. X-ray vision. Evolver. Gandarva. Tamakura. Yeah, Tama is basically a rabbit. Aiba is like a hamster. Tama is a rabbit. The sinker. I don't want to watch that again. Trivia. Hmm. Oh, it's just, it, this is the thing that we've seen or seeing, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll finish our first episode there. So, as I said, um, very weird, I guess, intro to the game. But it was it's fun. Honestly, this game looks much more smoother. Uh, of course, from the first game, gameplay-wise as well. Like when we were doing the quick time events in the beginning, right? Yeah, it was. It feels really much more smoother compared to the other game, right? For Date, he is missing for six years, right? They said he's missing for six years, so they actually, so they really removed him from the game. Maybe we'll see him later. We're gonna have to find out, right? But he definitely he needs to come back though. But it was it's weird though that they're using his old model. No, no not the old model, but the first model, the Saito Sejima model, right? For him. I mean it's not really a big deal. Because I guess he's not gonna be showing up that much. And uh, uh, I, this game is not really targeted. I mean, this game can be played, I mean, can be played by first time players, I suppose, and returning players from the first game. So I guess that's why they did that they didn't use um falco's body right for introducing or showing date earlier right when they show this picture so maybe yeah when we see him later he's gonna be looking as his date uh what do you call this saito sejima body date so yeah, it's okay it's fine because earlier as well right they were saying uh do you know or did you play the first game right so that's why they were asking that because if you didn't, it, it, all of the things, it didn't really matter. <laughs> because, yeah, um, I guess we're not going to see any connections to the Cyclops killing. Maybe we're going to see some, but probably uh, to a lesser extent, I'm feeling. Yeah, it feels like it, I mean. So, yeah, first impressions for Yuki. Mysterious. Uh, I think he had an attack earlier. He was... Speaking some gibberish language that we couldn't understand. He's mentally unstable, I suppose, right? He's gonna have a bigger or a big, big thing here for the plot. I mean, he's a main character, so of course he's gonna have something, right? But yeah, I'm very, very curious to see what what's gonna happen to him and Mizuki as well. So let's see. Let's see what happens to this game. We have two characters. And I'm very, very excited to see this story for this one. Uh, this game, I don't know if there's going to be supernatural. Not supernatural, but some sci-fi stuff, I mean, right? Yeah, maybe we'll see something like that. Because when they were explaining the half-body killings earlier, right? It was six years apart, so... How is that possible? I mean, everything has an explanation. We're just going to have to see. So anyways, um, we're going to continue this and do more of I... The Somnium Files, the Nirvana Initiative, 
in the next one. Or we're gonna do more, I mean. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye bye.